I am so done filming this part of my life. I miss my van. Damn it. <laughs> I miss my poo bucket. That's it. My first time renting an Airbnb. I think, I think we got everything. I'm gonna lock it up. We're off on another adventure. Guess where we're going. All right, now what the heck are we doing? <laughs> this summer trip has been one heck of an adventure. Oh yeah, that'll work. That's the car for the day. <laughs> it's sweet. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. What are, what are we doing now? Get it. Up, up. Atta boy. Where are we? This has been so much fun. You remember the other day when I said I've never rented a car before? The camper van was the first vehicle I'd ever rented? Well, now I've officially rented a car. Scratch that off my list. Where the key at? What the heck? There's no, uh, there's no, uh, there's no key. Oh, this is fancy. Shut up. Pushing the parking brake, start. Oh, let's go, that's it? But a boom. <laughs> let's go. Renting a car today turned out to be a lot of fun. Felt good to drive again. Felt good to get a taste of freedom again. And I also had lots of running around to do today. Not a bad little vehicle, man. Cruzy, you hold it down, buddy. I'll be right back. All right, we gotta go return the keys for the Airbnb. Yeah, you gotta go to a uh, another location. So this is going to a corner store in Calgary. I just go in there, drop the keys off, and uh, put a bag and we're done. Hey, I need to drop off some keys. One of my absolute favorite chocolate bars. They eat more. <laughs> I gotta stop doing this shit before I get fat. I'm listening to Sorry. Jeffy Bear's, uh, he's live streaming right now. Time, so, so hey far it's doing pretty good. Your nose looks a little dry. So I went and bought you some more nose cream. He's like, oh crap. <laughs> Uh, I left the other his other cream in the van. <laughs> See, it looks better already. Look at your nose. Look at it. It doesn't look dry anymore, buddy. That's got to feel a little bit better. Thank you, man. Don't worry, buddy. I got something coming for you. you oh, that's cool, man. Thank you. Yeah, Cruzy, look at you got, buddy. I've never been to a Dairy Queen that asked me if I wanted a pup cup. Cruzy gets to have some ice cream. Hey buddy, they gave you some ice cream. Sit down. This will be a first for you. I'm not gonna let you have the whole thing just in case you get the squirts. How's that, buddy? Hold on, take it easy. You're gonna get brain freeze, bro. You don't freeze your brains out. Hold on. Cruzy, chill out. No. And a uh, pepperoni pizza. Ice cap? Yeah. So this whole summer trip has been full of firsts for me. I've never rented a camper van before. I never rented a car before. I never rented an Airbnb before. I've never blown a transmission before and been in that scenario ever. And now I'm, uh, I'm having a pizza at Tim Hortons. I gotta say, I'm excited and a little bit nervous. It's gotta be safer than a $2 hot dog we seen the other day downtown calgary in that car that looked like it had a fire in the front at one point <laughs> they made me sit out in the front of the parking lot away from my pizza and these paper straws freaking suck i don't get it paper straw plastic cup call me old school but it's annoying all right friends oh damn okay I don't know why I'm laughing. I just ordered pizza from Tim Hortons. Looks okay. Would I buy it again? <laughs> it's got melted cheese. Of course I would buy it again. All right, hotel stay, baby. So far up to this point, having the transmission blow in my van has just well turned into a world of first time experiences. I had a blast out here in Calgary, but it's time for me to go home. 
and I'm really, really feeling it. I'm tired of paying money just to sleep at night. Where the heck am I? What the heck is going on there? <laughs> oh, Calgary. Baby, welcome home. Oh, this trip has been, uh, well, we're in another hotel. We still got some time to pass until I get my home back. So uh, we're back at a hotel. But the sweet lady up at the front gave me an upgrade and I'm okay with that because I called and said I need the cheapest room that you have for a stack of days and she's like, hey, I see, you've, I see you've stayed here with us before. I'm like, yeah, I was here about a week ago. She's like, let me give you a room upgrade. And uh, you wait to see, you wait to see, you just wait. And it's smaller, it doesn't have the big, big loft like the last time we stayed here, but uh, this room has got uh, one pretty cool feature. <laughs> I'm out of breath. So we're moving in again, bud. Oh, I see. I see you already found your spot. That is nice and cool in here. Oh, super stoked. This one's got a legit kitchen. Four burner, dishwasher, microwave, full size freezer, which means we can go buy cruisy some frozen food. We got like lots of dishes and stuff. Oh yeah, let's go. Okay, before the rental gets taken back, we gotta remove cruisy out of here. Look at that, that's from Cruz. So we need to go to, uh, we need to go find a vacuum somewhere <laughs> and at least vacuum that out of there. Because the last thing I want is uh, to get a bill from the rental company for, for cleaning. College car wash. there was a dog in here not me dropping them back off dirty and risking you know getting in trouble it's like the Airbnb when I left it spotless but I think there was more hair over there than there was in the entire Airbnb I don't know what he was doing there today but what a mess I think my dog Cruz is a true van lifer just like me believe it or not he's never lived in a home this is his first experience with home living and uh, well, me it's uh, kind of feels weird but he's like me, like he's starting to get antsy. You can see it, he's feeling a little bit depressed after day two and three in the same place. I think me and him are van lifers right down to the core. Car's dropped off. Uber. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing that I uh, did for my very first time on this trip was use my first Uber. All right, Uber baby, let's go. All right, so we got Uber X. Uber green, Uber extra large. He's three minutes away. Cost of the trip is 19 bucks. Boom, three minutes. P paid 19 bucks for this ride. Faster than a freaking taxi cab. Boom, driver's on his way, that quick. That's where he is, and I'm uh, right there. He's on his way. This is so much fun. Think about that, all the firsts I'm doing, it's a blast. What else can we do that'll be the first? Any, any ideas? So it's cool, and he comes directly to where my cell phone is pinned at, like right here, like he knows exactly where I'm standing. There's the Uber, let's go. How you go, man? All right, man, take care of yourself, drive safe. Let's give him five stars. I'm gonna take one of these. Heck yeah, let's go. Oh, I see you found yourself a little spot there, bro. Hi, Cruzy. Hi, buddy. So much cooler in this room, isn't it, bro? <sighs> okay, we need to unpack. Picked up Cruzy some raw dog food. I got Cruzy a present. It glows in the dark, too, but you kind of can't see it. <laughs> this, buddy. Oh, dad screwed up, 
First area of importance for me to set up when we're, well, not at home, is our editing station and my DJ station. So this whole area here is, well, a media and entertainment station. All right, let's try to keep this with a minimum amount of wires everywhere. Trying to keep my spirits up is, uh, is a little hard at this point. But you know what? This is the very last hotel we have to stay in. This is it. As soon as we check out of here, I'm back at home. <laughs> yes, sir. So I just heard from Mike at Metro Ford. Let me pull up the message here. Uh, Mike gave me an update on a bunch of the stuff that's being repaired right now. I think those are new things for my back brakes. Yep, those are back brakes. That's my reaction. <laughs> I just sent him that reaction too. And uh, I don't remember. I think he said they did a new back plate on that one. They redid my e-brake line. So I never had an e-brake on my van since day one. And I figured, you know what? Since we're there, let's just get the e-brake fixed too. I'm not sure what that picture is of. I don't know why I turned it like to look at the back. <laughs> Silly. Um, and the, I think that's a cooler for the transmission or something like that. And uh, there's some of the stuff being put on and stuff. So, so far, no update on the transmission. From what I understand, it was supposed to arrive today. I never heard from them if it actually did or not. But that's all right because Ford is closed on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because it's a holiday here in Canada. So they won't be able to work on my van again until Tuesday. Needless to say, we're going to be in this spot for a little while, hence me making myself right at home. So there's something really cool in this place and I want to show you. <laughs> I brought candles this time. <laughs> Bow chicka wow wow. We have a bathtub and look at the holes down there. It's a jacuzzi tub. Uh, this is going to be a fun, fun night tonight. Oh yeah, this sucks. <laughs> Let's go. All right, all bathed up, clean, ready to go. I got myself a hot date. <laughs> just, just to kidding. I'm going out, going out for a bite to eat with a subscriber of ours that you guys met in a video the other day. Hey, Cruzy, what do you say we'll go outside for a pee? So let's go outside for a pee. So I don't know what else I'm gonna film over the next few days while we're here waiting for my van. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me run around the hotel room like a crazy boy or having bubble baths or over there having food and. So I think this is, uh, after today, this will be the last video I make until I have some real news about my van. And I think that next video may be the day that I pick up my van. So if you don't hear from us in a couple of days, don't worry. Cruzy's just sleeping in the little sun spot in the front room. And I am impatiently waiting to go home. These hotel stays are fun one day. The next day, I go stir crazy. Day three, I'm ready to freak out. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna go have a bite to eat with, with Scott. And uh, I think that's the end of this one here for all of us today. I, I'm trying to keep my spirits up. I'm trying to keep my smile on my face. But the amount I miss my home is ridiculous. I miss running around. I miss the freedom. I miss the new place every day. I miss the excitement. And for me being a little movie maker, I like having the ability of chasing something fun to do. I've tried my best over the last little bit to keep it fun for you guys and fun for me. But tomorrow I got a day of waiting. Next day I got a day of waiting, so maybe we'll pop out a live stream, maybe, maybe that's something we can do, but running around and grabbing stuff to make a video, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm excited to go for food with Scott though. Can't miss his little micro camper anywhere. And he's still got my Weirdos Unite sticker on the back and my Van Life sticker. That's a classic. 
I haven't seen that one in a very long time. We should re-release that one. What's up, buddy? It was a five-point turn, but I made it. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. Good to see you again. Good bro. to see you too, man. Are you seriously giving me a gift I, in, a, in a poop bag? I'm giving you a gift in a poop bag. I, I wiped it out. <laughs> this is some of the stuff I've been enjoying lately. Habanero pineapple jam. Oh, heck yes. That is just to die for, that stuff. Oh, I'm in for that. Yeah. Ah. Scott's taking off right now. It was so awesome to hang out and see him. Um, it really meant the world to me that he invited me to see his world. Um, if you missed that video, guys, I got to go on to the field for the Calgary Stampeders and watch how they film, produce, and edit live a football game. I know the views were super low on that video, so if you guys haven't watched it, please go back and check that video out. It was just a couple of days ago, but... Uh, that's all I got for you guys until I get an update on the van, so I'll be seeing you guys soon. A couple days, hopefully. Please be a couple days. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for watching. So I just wanted to jump in here and add a little bit more to this video here. It's a holiday here in Canada and today would normally be a business. I don't even, what the, what's the holiday? Today is August bank holiday. Also, it is Saskatchewan day, British Columbia day, natal day, civic holiday, and Terry Fox Day. Hmm. Uh, apparently every province in this country has got, uh, has got its own little holiday today. But anyway, needless to say, Ford is not open today. So I don't have any updates on my van. They're back in business tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, I should find out if my transmission did come in on Friday. If my transmission did come in on Friday, Tomorrow, they'll be installing it, which means I might have my van back by the end of the business day tomorrow. Please, please, I want my home back so bad. So I know in this video I said that this is it. No more videos until I get my van back. Well, if I get it back tomorrow, or even get news on it, I'll definitely be making a video to keep you guys updated on what's going on in my life if we're back traveling on the road. And on the note of travel, so there's a, I don't know what I'm doing. So I, I'm going to have to relook over my budget because all these hotel stays had just been smacking at that bank account, which has been really crappy. And I know I've seen people in my comments telling me, Chrome, you should have just rented a budget rental van and lived in that. Every YouTuber that has made a video, including Camping with Steve, uh, all got sued by budget because you're not allowed to sleep in their vehicles. So yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's the last thing I want. Thank you very much. You can do it. But as a YouTuber, this is what we do for a living. We film our days. So I couldn't, there would have been two weeks, no videos if I did that. Because if I got busted, I'd have got sued. <laughs> no thanks. So anyway, guys, uh, it's kind of sucked to spend money on places to sleep. But on the bright note, there's been some really fun moments about staying in these places. I never slept in a loft before. That day was a blast. I've never stayed in an Airbnb before. That was a blast. And I learned a lot too. So being in the Airbnb was uh, back in my old condo setting. So I used to live on the 28th floor of a building there. I was on the 22nd, 21st floor. So it was a really good reminder to be back into the life that I used to live in the hustle bustle of the city with all the people going in and out of the elevators, going to work and all the different smells and all the different perfumes and colognes in the elevator. It really reminded me that I love living in my van, that going back is not an option. So all these things that happen, I think all happen in life for a reason. Um, I've just been trying to make the best of it, but right now I'm, uh, I'm done. I am ready to go back to my van. Two weeks without my home is enough. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Maybe tomorrow there might be another quick update video saying, hey, y'all, we're going home. <laughs> but after that, where am I going? I don't know. Maybe we go back to Vancouver Island and start working on the Dambo. Maybe. Maybe we go start heading north and finish off this trip. 
maybe. Or maybe we go to Ontario because the Overland North Muskoka gathering is coming up mid-September. Maybe we do that. Huh. At this point, guys, I don't even know. But thanks for watching. Scott, thanks for going out for some food with me. It was great to pass a little time. Uh, you guys, I have the best subscribers in the world. Thanks for watching. Oh, man, I love you. Cruzy! There's Cruzy. He back there. <laughs> okay, guys, we're done. We out, baby!